I think it's fair to say that without the hard work of those wishing to challenge the status quo in the automotive world, plug-in cars just wouldn't be where they are today. Tesla may come to mind first with its high-performance Roadster, the car that proved to many people that electric vehicles didn't have to be slow and boring. But in turn, Tesla came into being after some of its founders got a ride in a two-seat T0 sports car made by AC Propulsion. AC Propulsion was a company that was founded by the same engineer responsible for much of the power electronics used in the original GM EV1. Each, in their own way and for whatever reason and through whatever motivation, made a difference. And while most people are likely to believe that today's electric vehicle world is just Tesla innovating and mainstream automakers playing catch-up, there are still companies out there who are challenging the status quo of Tesla and those other companies. Companies challenging our very ideas of what a car should and can be. We've covered some of them recently. The reborn app Terra and Arkimoto FUV come to mind. Both are quirky and unusual in their own way and partly because of their appearance and spec sheet are likely to remain fairly niche market vehicles, at least for now. But a Swedish company by the name of Unity, we have covered them before on this channel, has just announced the pricing of its first car, the Unity One. And everything about this city car suggests it could, maybe, just start something of a small electric car revolution. It's close enough to a car to be accepted, but different enough to be revolutionary, in Europe at least. First, let's give you a brief background. It started as an open innovation research project at Lund University in Sweden. It became a crowdfunded company with the goal of not making the best cars in the world, but the best cars for the world. OK, Nikki, I hear you say, but lots of car companies want to change the world for the better. Everyone from Tesla to Sono Motors thinks they have the special source to get people transferring from internal combustion engine cars into electric ones. What's so special about Unity and the Unity One? Well, aside from the internal seating arrangement, the Unity One seats three with a driver in the middle of the car and the two passengers located behind them. The Unity One is a car that's designed to operate well in busy cities. It's a lot narrower than most cars and, thanks to the position of the driver, has plenty of steering articulation that gives it a crazy small turning circle of just seven metres. That's less than the turning circle of your standard London taxicab. I'm not saying these things will be used as such, but taxicab turning circles have long been heralded as a gold standard for automotive vehicle turning circles. I should note too that the prototype Unity 1 was actually a two-seater, so the production version has gained an extra seat. There's 155 litres of luggage space, which isn't large, but it's more than enough for the average daily commuter needs. And of course, it is a four-wheeler, not a three-wheeler. 760 litres are also available for cargo space, by the way, if you take those two seats and put them down and just have you in the car. And because the batteries are beneath the low bay floor, I'll come to those in a second, the usual handling problems you'd expect from a very narrow vehicle aren't there, because those batteries give a really low center of gravity. So far, I'm guessing there's not a lot I've said that's made you feel super excited about this vehicle, but here is where it does get interesting. You see, the Unity One is a car that you could configure for your personal needs. You can choose between two different battery pack choices. There's a 12 kilowatt hour battery pack that's expected to give a 150 kilometer range on the WLTP test cycle, or a 24 kilowatt hour battery for 300 kilometers of range on the same test cycle. These are provisional figures, by the way. A top speed is electronically limited to 120 kilometers per hour for the Unity One, and zero to 100 kph takes just under 10 seconds. But I should remind you, this is a car designed for city life, not long distance driving. And since most of us live in or near big cities, I'm guessing this should meet the daily driving needs of a large number of people. While rapid charging isn't standard, you can spec the Unity One with it. And if you do, you'll fill the 12 kilowatt hour battery pack variant in just 12 minutes. The 24 kilowatt hour battery pack can be filled to 80% full in 23 minutes. And there's also the option for seven or 12 kilowatt AC charging capability, which again will fill the Unity One's battery pack in no time at all. 
it may not have a super massive battery pack then or be capable of super long distance driving without stopping. But the Unity One does what I've been asking for for a while. It's a small, practical city car with a decent range for daily driving. And it also has optional rapid charging capabilities that are versatile and can refuel your car in no time at all. Then there's the price. At the moment, the Unity One, which will be built in the UK initially, but will then be built at places around the world close to where it's going to be sold, is being listed from £15,100 sterling, including taxes and UK plug-in car government grants. That makes it stupidly affordable. Even without the £3,500 UK government grant, its starting price, including tax, is still £18,600 sterling. You probably know by now that I don't like to include price conversions on this channel because exchange rates have a nasty habit of wildly changing. But suffice to say, that is a lot cheaper than any other brand new plug-in electric car available. And that's for a fully functioning three-seat highway capable car with a tri-screen digital dashboard, over-the-air software updates, and all of the usual things you'd expect in a modern car, not something without windows or other conveniences. In other words, it's not super stripped down. It offers most of the things you'd expect, but it also doesn't force you to have a lot of things you don't want or need, like air conditioning, which is actually extra. Overall, Unity hopes Unity One will help make the world a cleaner, greener place. And ultimately, I can see the Unity One being a great car for use in car sharing programs around the world. But what makes me so excited about it is the fact that you can choose a smaller battery pack or decide to forego rapid charging if you want, which dramatically reduces overall price. And since many busy commuter routes in Europe especially are already full of tiny super mini cars with empty seats most of the time, I can see a lot of people being able to forego a fourth seat to give this tiny three-seater plug-in a go. Of course, I should note here that the Renault Twizy is also available in many of these markets where the Unity One will originally be sold. But the Twizy doesn't go as far or have the car-like features that the Unity One has. So it is swings and roundabouts, and in the case of the Unity One, heating. You can also, of course, buy a full-sized used electric car for the same or less than a brand new Unity One. But if a brand new electric car is in your list, then this car could really change how you travel. What do you think? That's it. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to help us make more videos like this, please do like, comment and subscribe. You can send us a couple of dollars our way every month through Patreon, feed our coffee habit with Kofi, or visit our swag store. I'm going to be back very soon, but until then, thanks for joining me. Keep evolving.